for the men. So a lot, a lot is expected there. And I tell you that, yes, not the easiest, but we have 800 meters ticket going to none other than Emmanuel Wanyonyi. And yes, it was expected, and he has been able to carry the day. And he is the person who leads the charges. We'll be able to uh, see the official timings, but that is how that has been able to shape up. Now, allow me to digress a little bit and take you still in matters running. Remember the Stanchard Marathon. This edition will be the 20th edition, will be on the menu in October. Different athletes are promising that they will be able to go and see if they will be able to race. But remember, they are saying they are running for a reason. What exactly is happening? Earlier today, they had that uh, launch, one which they said it's system go. Athletes still registering and they're saying everything is on the cards and they are expecting that it will be an epic extravaganza. It's lovely to see all of you for the 20th edition of the marathon. And one of the things I want to say is I want to thank you for all the support that you've given us for the last 19 years and making sure that you support the bank's vision of building the future generation. The marathon started in 2003 and to date it's the biggest sporting event in Nairobi. It's IAF accredited and we're really proud to be hosting elite runners who use this marathon as a springboard to launch their international careers. We've raised over 750 million shillings towards the marathon, and this process goes towards future makers, where we empower the next generation to learn, earn, and grow. So it will be held on uh, Sunday, 29th October, 2023. It will be on the Southern Bypass, and this is the same route that we used last year, with Uhuru Gardens once again being the main venue for us. We'll also have the satellite marathons, which will be running across Kakamega, Kisumu, as well as Mombasa. And this will be extended from 22nd to 29th of October. We'll feature six race categories, mainly the 42 kilometers male and female. We'll have the 21 kilometers male and female. We'll also have the 10 kilometers male, female, as well as the wheelchair race, five kilometer family run, as well as the corporate relay. Our target this year is to make sure we get a minimum of not less than 25,000 people. Registration fee is going to be about 2,000 shillings. It's 2,000 shillings. And once again, this process goes towards future makers. All the people who've been with us, Athletics Kenya, Nairobi City, uh, that time it was Nairobi City Council, now it's a county government, they've been with us because of the, what it's doing to our city. And I, we believe and we are starting to get there. We need to start seeing that Nairobi City Marathon is, being, is a magnet for tourists, both local, because we get a lot of runners from Eldoret. They come the night before, they sleep, so they leave their money here, and international as well. We are extremely proud as Athletics Kenya to partner with the Standard Chartered Bank and join the journey that has got, got us to this stage of truly historic moment. This marathon has enabled many of our young athletes launch their profession, careers, and gone out to conquer the world in the international competitions. Athletics Kenya is satisfied with the progress and improvement made over these two decades. As we look forward to the scale, the scale of the standards of the marathon to global levels, and as you focus on the youth through the Future Makers program, we are going to support you and we will support each other and partner together for the time in the, in the future. The marathon was not supposed to have been a continuing event. It was like a try event to see what uh, we can do because we knew we had a lot of skill, we had a lot of potential, we had a lot of talent in the country and we wanted to associate with that a talent to also help our people grow their brand. And it's from that moment that such a great event has developed. In fact, uh, the Standard Chartered uh, Marathon now is such a key event on our calendar in Nairobi that uh, we are not too sure what to do with that period of the year if you decided not to continue doing it. So you have to continue doing it. You have to continue running it. You have to continue giving us this value uh, because it 
uplifts our city, it uplifts our, our, uh, our county, and helps uh, people recognize and, and showcase their, their talent. Um, it gives me joy to see all of us seated in here this morning, having braved the early morning chill just to be here and be counted. And it's good to be counted for a good event. You know, you can be counted for many things, but this is a premium event. It is a premium engagement. And I think for those of us who are being counted with it, it's a privilege to be a part of that. It is a testimony to your resolve to support the course for the Standard Chartered Nairobi Marathon, dubbed Future Makers, an initiative with an objective to tackle inequality and promote economic inclusion for the young generation. And, and that particular objective is very key to 